Happy Wednesday, Barstow. We are so glad you could spend your morning with us. Yeah, especially since our last show, this is our last show of the semester. In today's show, we have a plan full of both announcements and holiday pieces, so let's roll the intro. Tonight is the middle and upper school winter concert. It will take place at 7 in the auditorium. Good luck to all the performers. Speaking, speaking of performers, Junior Phoebe Martin was selected to play in the viola section of the Missouri All-State Orchestra. She was one of the eight people selected in the KC Metro and will now get to represent Barstow in the KC Metro area at the All-State Orchestra performance during the Missouri Music Educators Association Convention in January. Congratulations, Phoebe. The Barstow debate team also had a major success at the TOC Digital Speech and Debate Tournament. Darian Goodman and Elliot Osman went undefeated en route to winning first place in novice policy debate. Ishan Patel and Rohan Th uh, Thomas only lost one round and placed third. In varsity, Ava Levin and Tyler Baum Bauman finished 4-2 and two in the varsity division, which featured 46 of the best teams in the country. Great job, guys. Wow, that was a lot of announcements. Yeah, definitely. I know this is a little off track, but do you have any New Year's resolutions for 2023? Uh, yes, actually, actually I do, and I'm actually in the next in the next piece that Giselle made about New Year's resolutions. So let's check it out. My New Year's res resolution is to be better than I was in 2022 and uh, achieve all the big goals that I want to accomplish. Uh, for my New Year's resolution. I'm trying to be better at every sport that I play and do well at school. My New Year's resolution is to get better grades. My New Year's resolution is to exercise more. My, my New Year's resolution would be to eat some food and have a good 2025, 23. Uh, my New Year's resolution is to focus on myself and drink more water. Um, next year in 2023, my New Year's resolution is to um, possibly take up a new hobby. Um, I've been interested in, in learning how to crochet, and I've also really always wanted to learn how to play some form of instrument, so whether that's the piano or the guitar, um, I think that would be pretty awesome. My New Year's resolution is to get better grades. My New Year's resolution is to get this money. Okay, Dylan's New Year's resolution is to be Doja Cat's number one listener. I am. My New Year's resolution is to be able to bench 165 by the end of the school year. I'm not going to drink soda for a whole year. Wow, those were some great go goals for the new year. You know what, Solomon? I think it's time for the seventh day of kindness. You know, I think you're right, so let's check it out. All right, hi everybody, it's Mrs. Thompson here with her fabulous first graders to do our seventh day of the 12 Days of Kindness. So um, my friend Maddox and Hunter are here to reveal day seven. So can we do our quiet drum roll, friends? Okay, and you wanna read this real quick, what it says? Um, for y'all, kindness, like confetti. confetti. Right. Throw kindness like confetti. All right, help him, Hunter. Hunter, you take it. There you go. And Please. pull it up. All right, what's it say, friends? Please pick pick up, up some, some litter, litter at recess. recess. All right, we know that sometimes the lower school playground, or even the middle school playground, has litter that maybe we can pick up and put in the trash can to help our environment. You think we could do that today, friends? Yeah. Yes, yes, okay. That's our kindness for today. We hope that you do it too. Bye-bye. Wow, that really put me in a good mood, especially since the holidays are coming up. Well, speaking of holiday spirit, I heard you and Izzy went up against Aiden and Kale in an epic gingerbread house decorating competition. We sure did. Let's watch Izzy and I dominate Aiden and Kale in Amelia's gingerbread house competition. What's up, Barstow? This is BCB in Hour 5, and we are coming at you with a super exciting gingerbread house contest. I'm Aiden. I'm Kale. I'm Izzy. I'm Joshua. 
and me and Cal are taking on these two. See, they're they're, they're already they're, they're already slow. Like, that is twenty. It's only the same thing. Wait, do we eat that thing? What? Do we eat that? Oh, kind of hungry. We need your best one. We need to get creative. Exactly. Um, What's going on in Jay Mondo land over there? Not too much. Okay. All right. What's going on over there? You just have candy stored up. Yeah. What you guys? We just have our. We're just. We're just. <laughs> Um, yes. We're safer, so we have our candy in our bags until we use it. Yes. <laughs> it's it's linking, but it's not locking. That's a problem. I see. It's not like. Oh. Oh. We really gotta pick up for the slow peak. Oh my gosh. We're just like that. Oh, hey, look at this, bro. Yeah. This is why I do. Proud of you. He's about. What if yeah, we open. have a little open concept thing? Well, then you're. Gonna freeze to death. Look at them, they're still messy. <laughs> 14 minutes. It's 14. 14 minutes. Y'all better boogie. Y'all better boogie. Let's go. Alright. Let's get it going. I'm going. Alright. Group number two. I mean, the Put big bad wolf is not blowing this down. Hurricane Ian is a bonus. Hurricane Katrina. That's so funny. That's so funny. Where is it? Someone's hating your heart. They call me the gingerbread surgeon. No one calls me that. Yeah, I, I, I hear them call them that every day. You watch this school. Gingerbread no surgeon. One, no one's gonna call you the winner. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna like that. Was good. <laughs> We're not happy to win. Got off it. <laughs> I don't know what Solomon like, but that yeah, wasn't. Hey. Went with a lot of patterns in our house. We wanted to be colorful. We have red, orange, and then red, yellow, orange. We have a rainbow flowers at the top, and then we have green, white, white, green, and then on the sides. Um, oh wait, I don't want another side. Now, now that you've had to see that, let's take a look at this amazing house. So we got a decorative front driveway. With some nice Christmas okay, trees. Okay, I just, uh, my back, this is your car. Drive down. Oh. Oh that's my beautiful. goodness, my house. I like, really want to be here right now. Look at this. Look at these nicely decorated, no Filled cap. in, filled in. All right. The structure is, is well. You can tell that we have nice lining. The heat is not going to escape this house. And then the Christmas lights, you know, what's a house without Christmas lights? We have these beautiful yellow Christmas lights lining the sides of the crib. Precision is everything when it comes to a gingerbread house because, you know, number one mistake you can make is getting too messy. I just think we should take some pictures, post it on Instagram, and let the people vote and decide which one of these houses or structures it's a house. is better. So everyone right now go to at StoTV on Instagram. Why you there, follow. Follow, like, comment, And everything. vote for Aiden and Kale. I mean, at the end of the day, I'll it's up to you. Me. We're gonna love you either way, but like. We will love you either way. I just Come on, it's like. Yeah, vote, vote okay. for us. Wow, that looked pretty close to me. Make sure you go on to Barstow's Instagram, at StowTV, and vote for your favorite house. Solomon, there's only one right choice. Yeah, all right. Anyways, have you been keeping up with the World Cup? Yes, yeah, some of yesterday, yesterday's games were intense. I agree. I think that Messi is going to get the W for Argentina this year. I don't know, Solomon. Brazil has a pretty stacked team. Let's check out this piece with one with more on the World Cup. We're asking Barsto who's gonna win the World Cup. Let's go. Who do you think is gonna win the World Cup? Spain. I think Portugal will win the World Cup. <clears throat> Who do you think is gonna win the World Cup? Argentina. I first thought Brazil, but now I'm Argentina. Yeah, I'm sticking with Argentina. Argentina. I think I got oh, Portugal man. winning the World Cup and Belgium getting third. Madame! Madame Yvard! Who do you think is gonna win the World Cup? France! Obviously. Yes, obviously. France for the repeat. Uh, France, of course. <laughs> oh my god. Who do you think is gonna win the World Cup? Canada. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I will go with Brazil. Argentina. Uh, Brazil. 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 Because of 
uh, what's his face? Number 10, yeah. We love Neymar. Qatar. USA. US. Or Mexico. I think Mexico. Or Brazil. I think Brazil. Brazil. Or, or Portugal. I think Portugal or Brazil or Mexico or the US. Obviously Ghana. Durr. On Miss Marvin's behalf, I'll cheer for Argentina. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think the Netherlands are going to win the World Cup because, uh, yeah, they're the Netherlands. Who do you think is going to win the World Cup? I think the winner is going to win. Like, which country? The country that wins. If you had to guess a country to win, what country would that be? Winnerland. What? Winnerland. Winnerland, okay. <laughs> no matter who wins, it's going to be exciting to watch over winter break. For sure, World Cup, no school, holiday season, there's going to be a winter break for the ages. I agree. To send us off into winter break, let's watch Aiden's piece on how to get into the holiday spirit. Christmas is all about giving. Not receiving, it's all about giving. So you gotta give back and help people that are less fortunate than you. The way that I get into the uh, holiday spirit is just the uh, whole overall picture of the, the holidays. Uh, it's like the festivities, uh, the, the children, the weather. Uh, once the weather starts changing, then I pretty much know that it's pretty much holiday time and that pretty much always gets me in the mood. I think the best way to get into the holiday spirit is doing things for others. Um, we start our holiday spirit at my house uh, um, during Thanksgiving. I like to make blankets for each of my kids um, just to kind of be able to wrap the warmth of the season around them and get something special that's happened that year to create the theme of their blanket. But then I like to do things for other during the holiday season as well. I like to have special things for my students in my classroom. I like to do any kind of secret giving program, whether it is a secret Santa or secret sisters with my friends or colleagues, anything that can bring cheer to somebody else and help celebrate them with the things that they love to do. One thing I'm doing to get into the holiday spirit is watching Christmas movies. Okay, to get in the holiday spirit, I spend a lot of time with my family putting up ornaments and preparing food for Christmas. And yeah, we just celebrate as a family. Um, I'm going to Mexico to celebrate Christmas with my family. Uh, the real way to get in the holiday spirit, get in your car, turn on your car, connect to your Bluetooth, listen to Christmas music, and just jam. Especially All I Want Is You. All I Want For Christmas? Yeah. 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 Well, now I am fully ready for the holidays. It looks like that will be, that will put a wrap on BTVN for the semester. I'm Josh. And I'm Solomon. Have a great break, Barstow.